All right, friends, get your sewing machines turned on and let's get started. Okay, so I literally just started working on that sewing machine yesterday. That was my first time, I kid you not. So please don't judge me. Just trying to figure out the best way and how I can add a little extra Christmas flair to our Christmas couch. And also having little kids, I'm sure all moms can testify to this, having an extra little cover over your pillows makes for wonders for toddler fingers. It's nice to have a nice little cover and uh, later I'm gonna go in and sew on buttons so that it can just be decorative or Velcro, my husband mentioned, because it could be a choking hazard. So just a couple of things to consider. A big self healing mat is a really a good thing to have. I found that this thing has been a blessing. This is the big one from Cricut. And I think this was probably close to $25, I think, the last time I checked. All right, well, I'm gonna show you how I did a couple of sides on this pillowcase, okay? And how I, this was an afterthought, I did them this way the first time, and then I realized I should have done it inside out first. Because in that way, you don't get the frayed edges, unless you're looking for that kind of look. And then I didn't use any seam, I didn't do a seam at the top because, and then that way I only had to worry about sewing two sides and then Velcro on one. All right, well, I hope that makes sense and let's go see how I do. So real quick, you go into design space and I picked this font that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica called Best Jolly. I thought this was perfect for the holiday season. There's so many more that you can check out. Also, be sure to check the link in the description for this font and a new one they, they just came out with. It's called Glisten. Super pretty. I'm excited to see it. And actually, let me go ahead and I'm going to put it up in front here just so that you can see what it would look like. So there is the Glisten Sands, there's the script, and then the regular. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bold. I'm just gonna go ahead and just type Mary in there just so that you can see it. And, whoops, let me spell that right for you. See, then that way you're able to see that and see how beautiful the font is. And then also you'll just go over to ungroup. And once you do that, you can put your letters together and resize them to your liking. And then once everything looks good, you just go back and group them again. But don't forget, you do need to come down to the weld so that you don't get any cut lines on any of the letters where they were attached. So beware of that. You must weld after you have strategically placed them to link them together to be all one piece. All right, so what I did is I sent this through the joy. You can see how I curved this quite a bit here. I'm using my pretty Ruby Red Heat Iron on Vinyl. Love this stuff, love this company. They ship super fast. The products are absolutely amazing. All right, friends, I have the joy ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut and let's get it on the pillow. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you.